Okay, picking up where we left off, we've got our module settings populated in the module settings page. We can see our default value is there, 7 for page size, true for use, spam blocker. Um, we'll just choose authenticated users. I'm just going to make up some example where we can use that. And we'll just put foo for a custom CSS class, and we'll save that. And you'll notice if we go back in there, those settings were saved. So that's a built-in free storage of these settings. You don't have to implement anything much yourself. Uh, you just kind of consume it in the future. So going back to the code, to the guestbook module, first thing we'll do is we'll declare a couple of variables to hold our settings. And we'll initialize them to the default values, and we'll retrieve them for settings. Uh, let's see what else do we have. Um, page size and roles that can do food. Now, in our load settings method, we can go ahead and get our, our settings. Oops, that contains. And we'll just copy this from our. definition And for the page size, we have a helper method. And we pass in a default value that's the existing value. If it's not found in the settings, it will then still use the default value. And then we also have use capture. We can parse bool. Oh wait, that's not what I want. Well, we'll get back to that. Pass in, again, we pass in the value we've already set as the default. <clears throat> and then let's see, we can copy this block for our roles. And so that's how we can load our settings into local variables. Now, later on, I will show you how we could refactor that into a helper class that defines our settings. This will be more important when you see we need these same settings in the edit page or other pages. But for now, this is the quick way to wire it up. And you know, in the, some cases, your feature may only consist of the module, and it's perfectly reasonable to just have local variables and set them like that. Now that we've got our use captcha, we can say 
So the, this we want to move to after we've got our settings. And it will say equals use capture and not is authenticated. So if we've enabled using the captcha and the user's not authenticating, then captcha will be enabled and visible. Okay, page size. Do we have a get page on this? Not yet. We're gonna have to implement that later. Okay, well for now, just to show those values are being retrieved, we can put a label on here, temporary. So we're just going to hard code some text there, and we're going to uh, let's see, we'll make that audio. And then what we'll do is say in our settings. Let's just say do you not have a reference to in your reference to mojo portal business web helpers and mojo portal business web helpers. Web Helpers has that web user class that we can use for role checking. Oops. Well, that's not the most helpful thing, is it? If you don't get the capitalization just right, it's not going to like it. Okay. Well, actually, we don't really need the if. What we need to say is. server on there. Okay, so we've retrieved our settings. Page size, we're just going to show it on the page for now until we implement paging. And we'll go ahead and build. Refresh our page here. And now we still don't see the capture because I'm signed in. I'm going to sign out. Go back to the guest book. And now we see a capture. I'm going to end this clip here. We'll run out of time. We'll pick it up in the next clip.